In this video, I'm going to show you how to export the textures you created in Substance Painter for use in Unity 5. So now that we've finished creating our texture, I'm going to right click and choose Export Textures. And this opens the Export Document dialog. And so here I have my texture sets. So here I'm just going to enable all. This means that I want to export all the texture sets. I can also have the option to change the resolution. So let's just say, for example, on the upper body, I want to export this at 1024. I can do that. Or I could export this at 4K. You'll need to set a configuration and a file format. So for Unity, we want to make sure that we export as 8-bit. Now, notice here that we have all these formats, and they all have the bit depth followed by max. This means that the exporter will export the highest bit depth as indicated by the channel. So for instance, if we baked a 16-bit AO map and we utilize PNG 16-bit max, that means that a 16-bit PNG file will be exported. And we don't want Unity to have to do this 16-bit to 8-bit conversion. So I'm going to go ahead and let Substance Painter do that. So here, I'm going to switch this to bitmap or BMP 8-bit max. And now I need to set my configuration. So here I'm going to go to the configuration tab. And by default, Substance Painter ships with Unity 5 presets. So for instance here, you can see that I'm looking at the Unity 5 standard shader. It gives me albedo, RGB with an alpha, so transparency in the alpha. Metallic smoothness, RGB, so that's metallic is going to be grayscale in the RGB channels. And then the glossiness map is going to be placed in the alpha. Here we have our normal map and also our emission. Now I would like to make a copy of this and add ambient occlusion to this as well. So what I'm going to do is just right click and duplicate this. So here I'm going to rename this and I'll call this U5 standard underscore AO. And so now what I would like to do is add a new output map. So here I'm going to click the gray button and I'm going to add my ambient occlusion. And I have two options. So for instance, if we take a look over here at mesh maps, these are going to be the maps that were baked using the integrated baker in Substance Painter. And let's say that ambient occlusion was strictly just baked here. So I could take this ambient occlusion from the mesh maps, left click, and drag and drop it here on the gray button. And then when I release the mouse, I get the option for gray channel, and I'm going to choose that. And so here you can see that this ambient occlusion has been linked to this grayscale output. Now let's say that I baked some ambient occlusion, and I added an ambient occlusion channel to my texture set, and I modified it here in the layer stack. If that is the case, then instead of using the mesh map, I'm going to want to use this input map. So here I have ambient occlusion as well. I'll drag and drop and place this here into the button for grayscale, choose gray channel. And now I have linked the ambient occlusion input map to my grayscale output. Now in the case of this texture, I didn't do that. So I'm just going to use the mesh map ambient occlusion. And now I need to set up a name. So here, uh, just to save time, I'm just going to copy and paste in this name. So that's going to prefix my name here with these two flags for mesh and texture set. That means the name of the mesh underscore name of the texture set is going to prefix whatever name I have here. So instead of emission, we're going to change this to AO for ambient occlusion. So now that I have this set up, I could go back to my export tab and I'm going to choose my new preset. So that's going to be my U5 standard which looks like I misspelled this here. So let's just do a rename on this and we'll say AO and we'll go back. And so here we go, U5 standard AO. For my upper body, I am going to actually leave this at 2K. So now that I have everything set, I have my format and my configuration, I'm ready to export my texture. So I click the export button and Substance Painter is now gonna batch export all of my texture sets. In Chapter 5, when we actually build our Unity scene, I'm going to show you how to apply these textures exported from Painter to the Unity 5 standard shader.